So today, we're going to be reviewing a 4080 GPU. But not just any 4080 card, it's the Pro Art version from Asus. It's so exquisite. And in this video, we're going to find out ano nga ba yung special sa GPU na ito, para kanino tong graphics card na to, and worth ba siya nung premium price na hinihingi ng Asus. I'm Rocky the Programmer, and this is the Asus Pro Art 4080 GPU Review. So disclaimer lang, ASUS did send us this review unit pero they don't have a say dun sa final verdict namin. So in a nutshell, parang TLDR nitong review na to, this 4080 is special dahil dun sa kanyang aesthetics and dun sa kanyang pinaka form factor. And to discuss that, ipapa-unbox natin siya dun sa ating mahal na editor, si Warren. Hello! <laughs> Andito na naman ako! <laughs> So, mag-unbox ako ng GPU ngayon. Wala pa. <laughs> Akala ko lang. <laughs> so, may pa-thank you si Asus. Thank you for purchasing. Oh! Pag wala kang picture sa wallet mo, so ito mga warranty card and guide. Sana ito na yun. <laughs> wow! Oh my! Ang sleek! Ang ganda niya. Para sa mga minimalist, gusto yung sleek finish. Ang ganda niya. Ang premium. Nung ano ko siya nakita, para siyang ano? Para it looks like a chocolate or something. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko mag-gets kung bakit. So, yung back part niya, it says here, Pro. <laughs> and then, doon naman tayo sa specs. Meron siyang 9728 na CUDA core with 16GB na GDDR6X at 22.4GB per second. So, 256-bit yung memory interface niya. Para naman sa video output, it has one HDMI 2.1A port and three DP 1.4A ports powered via 16-pin, 12-volt, high-powered connectors. So, kailangan niya ng tatlong 8-pin na PCIe. It's a 2.5 slot card and ang interesting dito is kung gano siya kaliit. Ang dimensions niya ay 300 by 120 by 50 millimeters. For a 4080, compared sa TUF 4080 na may dimensions na 350 by 150 by 73 millimeters, which is ang bulky, sobrang nipis talaga nito. Yun yung selling point ng card na to. It can fit in unconventional builds, especially for creators and workstations. So for the performance, nagan tayo ng test din sa aking PC. It's a 13600K in a B660M motherboard na meron 16 gigs of RAM, running at 3600 MHz, powered by a 750 watts power supply. We ran the test at 1440p max settings, but since 4K card yung 4080, nagran na rin tayo at 4K. For a 4080 card, it performs as expected. Control at 4K with RT and DLSS enabled runs at 119 FPS. Sa Cyberpunk naman at 4K without RT and DLSS enabled runs at 61 FPS. Pag in-enable na natin yung NVIDIA exclusive technologies like DLSS and Frame Gen, it runs at 129 FPS. Let that sink in. 4K 129 FPS. While it's a powerful card and medyo compact yung kanyang heatsink, surprisingly, maganda yung thermal performance niya. Even at max load, ang pinakamataas na temps na na-reach is around 78 to 80 degrees Celsius. I also have to say that we run this test inside the Revolution 3 case from Galax. And 
medyo maliit siya. And still, maganda pa rin yung kanyang performance. Hindi siya nag-overheat or nagta-thermal throttle. So, very good. And syempre, yung performance na yun comes at a cost. And yung cost na yun is yung bill mo sa kuryente. Sa lahat ng gaming test natin, lahat yun nag-reach over 300 watts. 300 watts. 300 watts. 300 watts. Ready ka na lang ng ano, pambayad sa kuryente. Nag-run din kami ng productivity benchmarks and maganda yung performance niya. Definitely, it's a really good workstation GPU but that's not the only reason. Okay, so we've established na maganda siyang 4080 in terms of performance, in terms of aesthetics. But yung special talaga sa kanya is yung kanyang pro art na style or like sensibilities. So itong pro art na line, it's really geared towards yung mga professionals and mga workstations. So, hindi ka makakakita ng RGB, hindi ka makakakita ng mga sobrang angular na lines na parang uh, mga spaceship or whatever. And yung mga ibang reviewers and yung ibang websites, sinasabi na parang Asus unveils uh, GPU that's designed for grown-ups. And yun yung itsura ng pro art daw. Hindi ko alam kung like, nag-agree ako doon or ma-open ba ako doon. Kasi ako, grown-up naman ako. Gusto ko pa rin naman ng RGB. Pero yun nga, um, kitang-kita doon sa material, doon sa overall na feel and yung pagka-premium niya na it's really geared towards a very different uh, market or a very different group of people. So, sino nga ba itong mga people na ito? Okay, so dahil dun sa size niya, and by the way, siya yung pinakamaliit na 4080, barring yung Neptune from iGame. Pero yun nga, manipis yun kasi meron siyang AIO. So for all intents and purposes, siya yung pinakamaliit and pinakamanipis na 4080. So all of yung power ng no 4080 crammed into that small package. So yung parang pinaka-target nga nila is yung mga workstations or yung mga configurations na hindi siya medyo gamer. Meaning, um, marami siyang expansion slots na kailangan. So, kailangan, konti lang yung ma-occupy niya na space. And also, yung sa mga ganito kasi, mga professionals, ang gusto nila is mas malaki yung desk space nila. So, kadalasan, na-uwi sila sa small form factors. So, it's actually very apt for, yun nga, yung mga small form factor cases like yung fractal ridge. Or actually, yung kahit iba pang medyo mas malaki dun sa fractal ridge. So, while... Pwede yung magkasya, for example, yung TUF or like yung Gigabyte or like yung iba pang mas malaking GPU dun sa cases na yun, magsasacrifice ka ng airflow and yung overall thermals dun sa loob ng case. So the smaller na GPU, as in maraming marami pa siyang allowance dun sa compatibility or like dun sa space na inaalat ng case, mas okay talaga para do sa mga builds na yun. So, isa pang group ng mga people natin na target nito is yung talaga mga walang pakialam sa budget. Because this is a very expensive card for what it is. It's a 4080, pero yun nga, medyo mahal siya. But also, you're going to be buying yung kanyang pinaka-itsura or yung pinaka-feel niya. As far as we know, ito lang yung merong parang black and gold na trim or like black and gold na overall na design. And that's very unique. If you think about it, very minimalistic siya. And yung mga minimalistic na yun na walang RGB, nakikita lang natin yun sa mga pinaka-low-end na line. And this is anything but low-end. Napakaganda niya. And you're really buying into that premium na feel. So ito yung parang first na masasabi ko na parang luxury GPU. Like hindi siya pinakamabilis. Pero you're buying it because of everything else. Tapos as far as yung alam din namin, baka ito na rin yung parang pinaka-upper limit nung kaya nung cooler design. Kasi kung like tataas ka pa ng 4080 Ti, ay, yun nga, mataas na yung wattage niya and mataas na yung power draw niya. And like, yun nga, asa ka pa na may 4090 na ganito kaliit. So this is kind of like the most premium, the smallest form factor and also the um, parang pinaka sleek and pinaka unique at also yung sa pinaka mataas na possible na power so that's why this is expensive <laughs> it currently represents yung para sa amin na i think no nag-agree ka naman Jay no <laughs> nag okay siya <laughs> parang nag-agree kami na ito yung pinaka magandang GPU na nakita namin it accomplishes a lot as a 4080 GPU in a very small na footprint, it manages to be super elegant without being tacky. Pero yun nga, um, lahat naman tayo may kanya-kanyang taste. Pero here at Harry Sugar, we do think that this is a very beautiful na GPU. It's very interesting and medyo ang hirap niyang i-review dun sa normal na method namin. Kasi nga, it's a very different GPU in terms of 
what it's for and what it represents. And it's up to you kung bibilin mo siya. <laughs> it's very expensive. We can guarantee na it's super beautiful, it's super unique, and talagang head turner siya. And siya yung magiging parang pinaka centerpiece ng build mo if ever. Thank you for watching. Ayun guys, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe na rin kayo kung di pa kayo nagsusubscribe. Then check nyo website namin, nandun yung mga, um, kung gusto yung mga components na wala, check nyo doon. Then, Discord namin, uh, sali na kayo. Then, Facebook, tsaka IG, check nyo rin. Then, ayun, visit kayo dito sa store namin. See you on next video.